Sarah Webb. Welcome to Quantum Healing with the Angels, the podcast. Welcome to Quantum Healing with the Angels, where we share quantum healing hypnosis sessions and our channelings with the Archangels. Today I have another channeling for you. I have some great, great, interesting quantum healing sessions to share, but I feel like everyone could use a boost, like a direct boost of angelic light. So I'm going to share this with you first. There are only a couple of things that I want to explain in advance, just so you know what I'm asking. I ask at one point about our cat Coconut because Coconut yells at Travis when he sneezes and it, I've never had a cat do that and I think it is the funniest thing in the world. I've tried to capture it on audio or video but so far I, you know his voice is so tiny. <laughs> It's like, so it's hard to hear, but maybe someday I'll get it for you. So I had to just finally ask about what, what is that, you know, (laughs) but most of this is about the year 2024 being a good year. I think we can all agree that it's about time (laughs) and well I'm just happy to hear that let's see if you hear anything in the background it's our cat feeder that goes off automatically but I think everything is pretty easy to hear I'm just gonna get going with this because I want you to go ahead and get your happiness on and get boosted from this angelic energy Next time we'll probably have something new for you, but it will be interesting, I promise. Thank you for listening and supporting us, and we hope you enjoy episode 22 of Quantum Healing with the Angels. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. Thank you for coming through. Is it okay if we ask some questions? Yes, you can ask any question you like. Thank you. I know you've explained to me before that there is negative energy and that there are also beings who who have a technology that they can use to act as negative, sort of like negative entities. Do we create all of this or is this something we all agreed to do or how would you explain that some some say this is all your creation and i i understand what that means i know it is oh yes i can see how that could be confusing we do create some of our own negative energies, but it is not the same as the negative energies that is already floating around. The negative energies that beings themselves create is almost like an artificial negative energy that can be erased very easily, mainly because you communicate with each other and you talk it out as you say and it usually turns into love and it's all fine. <sighs> the artificial negative energy is an energy that comes out of nowhere. Well, it seems like you just gets angry for no reason at all. Yes. And you don't know why you are even mad. Yes. That is the uh, artif- that is the energy that the negative beings are using just to mess with people. Usually on days where it should be relaxed and yeah that's 
When you feel like you get angry for no reason out of nowhere, that's when you know you are being what you call messed with. Okay. But when you get negative energy from others, that is what we call natural negative energy that can easily be taken away when you communicate with each other and and you apologize and you so-called make up and it all turns to love. Mm -hmm. The negative energies, like I said before, are the ones that comes out of nowhere and you have no reason why you're even upset. Yeah. When you shouldn't even be upset. Yeah, you're not really upset, so you don't know why you're feeling that way. Yes, those are the negative energies that is floating around and they just like to poke and prod at people just to see if they can make them upset about something. Okay. Sometimes they'll get you to look at something to make you upset. Yeah. Or sometimes someone might say something to you to make you upset. Those, usually when someone does something to you, is the ones that can be taken care of fairly easy when you communicate with each other. But the energies, when you feel like you get mad out of nowhere for no reason, and that's when you know you are being manipulated with the negative energies. Mm -hmm. That's what those are. They usually like to mess with people when someone is relaxed, and usually when someone's intent and they feel just fine, and all of a sudden they get angry out of nowhere. That's when you know you are being manipulated by the negative beings, and they just use the negative energies just to mess with you. So when that happened, it were usually just, you know, like you've told us, we just fight it. And yes, you can fight it. And sometimes it's easier just to ignore it because when you realize, why am I mad for no reason? Then you can easily just ignore it and you won't be angry anymore. It's really that easy. Sometimes if I put on a, something that brings in light, um, that will help. Yes, that works all the time. Yes. Is there anything else we can do? No, that is pretty much the way it is. If you angry for no reason, then that's when you know you are being manipulated by the yeah. beings. And they just want to just mess up your day. Usually, the other kind of negative energies when it comes to stress, so when it comes to things in your life, like we said, like finances and everything, those are natural, but the negative energies like to capitalize on those as well and make you even more angry. So you cannot think straight and yeah. sometimes you just give up and you be angry for a long time and it, you know, when you get angry, you cannot think straight. So you just keep thinking up more things that make you angry and you just make yourself even more mad. And that's what they like to do. It's gotten easier over time, and yet it's also gotten more intense sometimes lately. Is that because we're getting closer to things? Yes. Yeah. The best thing to do is when you feel yourself getting angry, just think about what you're angry about. Mm -hmm. And then you can figure out, is that even important to be angry about? And sometimes when you think about that, the anger will go away. Because you feel like, oh man, I'm being very stupid. Why am I angry about, <laughs> why am I angry about, uh, for example, why am I angry about this tree falling over in the woods? So, you know, just something, <laughs> you know, why am I angry yeah. about that? Yeah. You, you know, this thing is, it shouldn't even be making you angry. Or some days, sometimes a person might say something that, no on a good day wouldn't bother you. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the easiest thing for them to mess people with is, of course, pain. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they, that's the easiest thing they can make people angry. It's, okay, I'm going to make them hurt yeah. in their back just really hard. And just make them, just make it hurt as bad as I can to make them angry. And that's the easiest thing to make people mm -hmm. mad because they have to figure out a way to keep it from hurting and Yes, pain is the easiest thing to make people mad. But the emotional things are easier to get away with because you can pretty much just ignore it. Pain is a little harder, but you can get rid of that as well. Especially when you really get good at it. Is there a way to get good at it that we haven't talked about? Everyone goes through it in their own way. 
everyone can't do it the same way. The best way to do it is, you know, find remedies to get rid of it or the spiritual way is to really not think of it. You can actually not think about pain and it will literally go away. That's another re way of the healing that people should know they can do th with themselves. And they can literally not even think about it and they won't feel a thing. Hmm. And that is possible to do for everyone. Okay. Yes. Now, when you do light language, is it like just sending tones of light kind of like that? Or? Yes. Okay. That's exactly it. So it's not really a language because sometimes you make the same sounds over and over. Yes, it is not necessarily a language. It is just what we are. We I guess you can call it a language because it sounds like a language when you say it. Yeah. It literally brings out light. <sighs> That's why you, when you feel like a rush and you just have to get it out, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. it just brings out light. And that actually pushes negative energies away very fast and far away. Oh. And it doesn't just go in your so-called room. It goes out into the world. So it'll expand almost like when you drop a pebble in the water and the waves spread out. That is how it. Looks, if you wow. picture when you do like language, when you're picturing it, picturing like waves coming out of your mouth wow. and it just expanding in the whole world like a bubble wow. expanding, a light. And it goes through people's homes and their bodies and they have no idea. You could be saying like language and someone could be walking outside and all of a sudden they get a rush of good energy. And they have no idea that it came from you. Okay, so that makes sense. Sometimes it does feel like it builds up and it has to come out. Yes. And then I go around seeing it for an hour. Yes. And then I don't know who I've said it for. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I guess it just goes to everyone. Because when you get that around. trigger, you probably got an unknown prayer from some from someone and oh. you have no idea where it's from and like I said you can do it any kind of way even if you're out in public like I said you do not have to say it out loud you can do it in your mind and it works the same way the reason why source made it that way is because of on your planet or other planets where people are like your people you can't walk around talking to yourself because it's mm -hmm. crazy so it's best just to do it in your head it works the same Doing it in your head or out loud. Okay. It works exactly the same. All the time. Yes. Interesting. So if somebody's praying for help, then sometimes we help each other without knowing it? Yes. Oh. That's why you feel like a rush of like language. Okay. It could even been someone in your family members praying for you or asking you for help and then you just automatically feel like doing it and that's why you want it to come out because you want to help them sometimes it really feels like it has to come out yes I'm noticing lately that there are different ways that I can help people hmm. what is the best way for me to just the different the different ways I've set up you pretty much heal people the way you want. There is no correct way to heal anyone. So pretty much any kind of way you think of, then you can just do it that way. Okay. There is no correct way to help anyone. Helping in general is all that you need to do. It doesn't matter how you do it. Okay. It doesn't matter what you think up. If it's something positive, it will work. The way I was trying to think about it was like, you told me about tones and sounds that move things, like the pyramids. Mm. Does this move things within our bodies or loosen up old trauma or, you know, can it do things like that, the sounds? Yes, that is exactly what it is. 
Metatron gave you that knowledge. Oh, okay. Thank you, Metatron. Most of the questions that most people ask, they already know the answer to, but it is fine to ask us those questions because what? we like to give you reassurance that you are doing the right thing. A lot of people want oh, yeah. to make sure they are doing the right things, and that is a positive thing. Well, yeah, because sometimes you can get distracted by other people doing things their way. Mm -hmm. And just because everyone's doing it a certain way, you've told me that doesn't mean that that's how I should do it. That is true. Sometimes you hear people doing the same thing you do, but they do it a little bit different. It sounds a little different, mm -hmm. but they are still helping a lot of people, yeah. which that is a good thing. Some people, when you're in a body on your planet, everybody hears things different ways. Some people like the way some people say it. It helps them. Hmm. And some people don't like the way other people say it. But as long as it does the same thing, helping people towards the light, then it is all good. Oh, yeah. The light language, I noticed it's gotten a little faster. Does that make any difference? Like sometimes. It doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Some people like to hear it that way. Okay. Some people will hear it and they won't feel a thing. But as long as they're listening to it, it will still be having a good effect on their bodies, but they just don't know it. Oh. So really, if they don't feel what the person is saying, that doesn't mean that it's not working. That's good to know. Yes, you do not have to feel everything. Everything does not have to feel good to let you know that it is working on you. Because what they are saying is going out into the world and it's pretty much covering your body and hmm. you have no idea that it is helping you. Everyone hears things in different ways. Some people like to hear it softer. Some people like to hear it faster. It makes them... Mainly because some people's brains are faster than others and they like things to go fast. So, mm -hmm. okay. And some people like to hear things quiet and soft and that touches them more. Yeah. Okay. But it all has the same effect regardless I have a question about the Ark of the Covenant. Someone asked about it, like, is it real? I took myself into a trance the other day, and it looked like I saw the, something like the Ark of the Covenant would be. Yes, the Ark, what you call the Covenant, is real. The reason why I don't want you to know what's in it is just a big, giant crystal in it. Oh. And it has, like, really strong what, like power huh? it's very strong power it's very strong healing power yeah I can feel that and it's really selfish of them to be hiding it it has a special power though it if someone is not good at heart mm -hmm. if they try to touch it they will get what you call shocked mm -hmm. Not a shock that will kill them, but it's just enough for them not to want to touch it anymore. That's fascinating. But once they have a good heart and they can touch it, once they touch it, they will be healed. And the reason why it's being kept secret and hidden is because the evil beings that have it know that it can heal people. And that is one of the things they do not want people to know. If everybody knew that thing could heal people and they had it out in public, pretty much anyone can touch it and be healed. You can be so-called paralyzed and touch it and you will be able to walk. Huh. You could be blind and touch it and you can see. See, they found all that out because they tested it out on people and they saw it and they said we cannot let... And the reason why... Is because of the dumb stuff on your planet you would not need any doctors because anyone can just go to the thing and touch it and be healed so I so okay so that was correct what I saw 
It was a vision. Yeah. And it was in Egypt, and they took it away from Egypt? Yes. Okay. And for wow. security purposes, for your security, I cannot tell you where it is. Okay. Is there only one? We are actually two. Mm. But they only have one. Okay. The other one has not been found. Okay. Wow. And it is in a place where it does not need to be found until when we say disclosure comes out. We will be part of that as well. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I can tell this being where it is and when disclosure comes out and he can yeah. tell you where it is. Okay. Here's a question that came up that is something that you taught me early on, but it's been a long time since we talked about this. Why should people not feel sorry for anyone? This is a tough one, especially for empaths like me. I think we mentioned this in another session not too long ago, is when you feel sorry for someone, that is a negative. Because you should not feel sorry for anyone. Is it like sending them negative energy, kind of? It's, it's sending them negative energy, but it's also that you, most people don't realize that they're doing it. Uh -huh. It's like an ego thing. Uh -huh. For you. Because you wouldn't want nobody to feel sorry for you, so why should you feel sorry for them? They worry about children on the earth, you know, that have taken on difficult roles. Yes. But and that is the main reason why you shouldn't feel sorry for them because they put those okay <laughs> Metatron just told me that he does not like the word contract either ah uh, yes I don't like that word so he said start all. calling it <laughs> he said to call it a life mission oh perfect thank you yeah, I've been talking to you guys about how the word contract bothers me. Yes. And I think a lot of people are bothered by that word. Yes. Because it sounds kind of negative, for our planet at least. Yes, he said we use that word all the time. Yeah. He said the best thing to call it is a life mission. Okay. So when you say, well, somebody signed up for that for their life mission, do not say contract. Just call it a life mission. Perfect. Thank you. So just don't worry because that's their life mission. Yes. That's what they took on. Okay. And that's another reason why you shouldn't feel sorry for anyone because that's what they signed up for. Mm -hmm. Um, Dragons. I'm seeing a lot of dragons. Mm. And I've, you know, I heard that this was the year the dragons were coming back. Yes, that's why this year is, that's another reason why the negative energy is trying to come in force because they know. Everybody felt this year is going to be good for everyone because good things are starting to happen for people and they're trying to retaliate. Mm. But it's not going to work because it's going to be more good things happening and they will not be able to keep up with all of them. There is no way. Everything is going to be going good for people. You know the little girl I watched? Her name is Seven. Mm -hmm. she, said, she said in such a cute way, she said that we were... <laughs> unalived just to not say the word that would be a trigger mm. at the end of the year it's so 2024 I don't know what happened there can you explain that since she's so young she's trying to describe it yeah but everyone is slowly phasing over into what you call your fifth dimension ah you're skipping over the fourth. Oh, oh. Wow. So, <sighs> Source is slowly giving everyone a gift into shifting. That's why it's people that are trying to learn about these things. There's actually more people learning about these things. They're shifting over. They're getting away. The religious complex. Basically, they're getting away. There's still a lot that are t 
tied up into it in certain areas, but they're slowly starting to think for themselves. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't been thinking for yourselves most of your life because you have been taught everything in certain ways. And the fifth dimension is slowly getting pumped in. People start seeing more things and they will be able to record them on your devices and oh. yeah, get to the point where people will be able to say it's real and it's not manipulated because it'd be so real looking that you have the technology to re replicate what they see and most of the things they see are going to start actually most of them are going to be on the ground and around a lot of people mm -hmm. where it's more than one person recording it see that is the thing most of the things people see on your so-called internet, it's only one person filming. Right. So they're saying that person is making it up. They're going to start seeing things where it's more than one person seeing it. That way you know there is no way that every one of those people so-called edited those videos the same way. Oh. There is it, it would be impossible to say 50 people or 100 people edited a certain video in different angles in the same way that's impossible hmm. especially if they don't know anyone and that's when people start saying oh my god there's actually different things out here and it's going to slowly start happening that way and this year this is a very special year because there is also we see that they're debating the evil ones that's trying to keep control of your planet are debating on doing their final mm -hmm. we call it a scare tactic mm -hmm. which we already mentioned it before is probably a fake in right. invasion from other beings something like that they're really debating on if they want to do that this year wow it's ramping up fast it really is ramping up really fast because they see People are slowly starting to get around the negative hump. It was a three-year hump. Mm -hmm. 2020 to 2023. 2020 starting with your so-called coronavirus. And then when that went away, it was a stagnant period where it seems like nothing was going on, but they were trying to pump in more negative energy and it works somewhat, but not really. It kind of put people in what you call a limbo. And now it's a new year and everybody feel, feels good. And they have no reason why they're feeling good. But it's only because there's a lot of light being pumped into the planet. And everyone's going to start feeling good. And everything is going to start going right. And Holy cow. that's when they're going to be like, okay, should we do this now to shut this down? But they also know when they do that, okay. their power, unless they can figure out a way to do their one world order or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. they will try to use the, the invasion to do that. And it'll be up to the people to decide if they want to do that. If it's not enough people scared, then it will not work. If a lot of people are scared, then they might be able to pull it off. But like we said, it depends on the timelines and people, people's will. But at the same time, when they do that, for them, it's a double-edged sword. Because when they do that, a lot of people will finally believe in aliens. And there will be no more racism on your planet because the other beings will look different than anybody on the planet. So they won't have time to hate each other anymore. They'll be concentrating on the other beings. So they won't be. So that would be one of their cards taken away from them because they can't use people to be against each other anymore because you got this other being that don't look nothing like them. Yeah. How can you hate someone that has a different color of your skin when you got <laughs> another being that has four arms or something? Yeah. I'm sure there's so many different that we can't even imagine. Yes, there are millions of different beings. So that will... That will they know... That one thing will wake everyone up, and they know it might backfire because that will wake everyone up, and people like you 
they will turn to people like you because you've been trying to tell them the whole time that there were other beings and they just didn't believe you. All of a sudden, you got all these new people want to know about these things and there'd be so many un people that are out of their so-called matrix. They might not be able to have control anymore. Yeah, that could be crazy. But it will be good at the same time because people will... will figure out a way to survive together because there are some people even though the the evil people control everything there are some good people that know how to run those things so you know the power might shut off for a little while but there are people that are good that know how to turn it back on and they'll be able to turn the power back on and people won't have to worry about paying power bills because money won't matter or anything so you have free power yeah. there's a lot of sh scenarios every scenario will come out good because everyone will be helping each other helping each other live wow it's, yeah i mean there might even be some people we know your food is a manufacturer but we see all kinds of timelines where your food might still be manufactured but it'll be free and people that knows how to make the food will be making the food for free Right. Because they can pretty much work any hours they want, and everyone, okay. there will be people that we don't want to learn how to, to make those things just to help just to other help. people. Yeah. Because oh, they say, well, I, I'll, I can make this. I don't mind working in here for five hours to make the this, because I, I like this too, so I'll help you. Yeah. I don't have to worry about paying any mortgages or rent is what you call it, or mm -hmm. everything is free, so... These people know how to make this, so we can make this, and we can all just live. Oh my God, that would happy. Be so nice. There are all kinds of scenarios that will that can turn out great. We see different timelines. And they all go towards a good. Yes, none of them. Yeah. None of them. None of them are bad. Like that will be bad forever. Some timelines are bad for a little bit, but it still turns out great. All of them eventually <clears throat> will turn out great. Some so will great. go good without any bad, and some will have like a little bit of bad mixed in, and then it'll get good. But pretty much all of them end up good. There are none that just end up bad forever, and everyone's just struggling forever. That is not going to happen. Wow. Wow. Amazing stuff. Yes. Okay, I have a funny question for you. Why does Coconut yell at Travis when he sneezes? <laughs> I know this is a weird question, but I just want to know why. It is, he doesn't like the sound of it, <laughs> but it's kind of a, it's kind of a playful kind of thing. He kind of, he kind of does it because he likes that you laugh at him for, <laughs> for doing it. He does. So he just kind of does it just to make you laugh. Oh. He doesn't necessarily hate it, hate it, but he just he just kind of does it because he likes it and makes you laugh when he yells at him. He does. Yes. He goes, yeah. <laughs> he knows that you think it's cute, so he just does it just to make you laugh. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Yes. That's all it is. Okay. Um, and then I have a, a serious question. You know, someone was asking me about their son. And he... Hmm, I need to be careful with this question. He said that some people took him to a place and did some things. And put something into his head and on his eyes... And that they control control those things and make it hurt. Is there anything we can do to remove that? We will figure out a way to. We won't be able to take them out. They have to be taken out. But mm -hmm. we can shut them down. So we'll work on those to shut them down. Okay. He was in... <sighs> A program not a good program either yeah 
and he's remembering things. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all we can say about that. But right, right. We can shut those down. Okay. Because we, we can't take them out because they are in his. They literally have to be taken out mm -hmm. by a surgeon. But, but you can shut them. Off. Yeah, and then they they will not have any effect on his body for being just sitting there. But okay, we will. We will shut them down. Okay. When I ask you to do things like this, does it need to be in a session? Or can I just ask? You actually have the power to do what we do. Because when we shut them down, we don't necessarily have to touch the person. We can actually do kind of like a like language healing on him as well. That's we just kind of just speak and make it go away. So you could actually do a like language on him as well and... It will shut it down. His mother actually asked me if I could, if the light language would work on that. Yeah. And I said, let, let me ask. It's very powerful then. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then I was wondering about what is grid work? That is another thing. That is absolutely nothing, but okay. if it helps people... Wow. Okay. Then we agree with it. Okay. Like I said before, you can pretty much make anything up mm -hmm. to help people. As long as it helps people in a good way, then it will work. I know people are doing it for loving reasons. Yes. And that's why it will work. And you then... can make something up and say, I want to do pyramid work on you. Ah. And you can just make up something, and as long as it makes them feel good, then that's what it is. Okay. And then some people talk about transmuting, like, family um, trauma and things like that. Is that necessary? That works as well. That does work? Yes. Like I said, you can pretty much make up anything. Uh -huh. But if people believe in it in a good way, then that will work. Okay. So you can pretty oh, much make anything up. To make someone feel good or cure them for anything. Mm -hmm. And if it works, then it works. Because we're creators. So. Yes. Okay. That is exactly right. You are here. You are a creator. You Anything yeah. created for good, then it is good. So if I'm like, I want to make my family feel better and you can do that. Yes. Okay. And you can call it whatever you want. It's not a, oh, I missed out on learning this. and. Okay. No. Okay. No. But if someone wants to learn it, they can, and you have more people to know how to do it. Okay. Pretty much anything that is good, yeah. that is helping people, then it is good. Okay. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds or how weird it looks. If it helps someone to do positive things and make them feel better and heal themselves, and yeah, then you can do it. So it is very simple, like you've always said. Yes, people Pretty on much. your planet makes everything hard because they have so many choices. And even if it is made up, as long as it's doing something good for people, then that's fine. Okay. Okay. But I, I do want everyone... I do want everyone to know that everything is going to start to lighten up, is what we say. Get better. And... You will see this year is going to be a little different. That's awesome. That's all I can say for now. Okay. But that is, that is it. Okay. Thank you so much for everything. We love you so much. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for listening to Quantum Healing with the Angels. This podcast is sponsored by Sarah Webb Beyond Quantum Healing. Contact Sarah today for your free consultation and mention this ad for 10% off your Quantum Healing or Quantum Connect sessions.